Hello everyone, Tabitha Hewlett here. Today I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek into my chosen female healer. There were a lot to choose from. Uh, Ina May Gaskin, Florence Nightingale, Mother Teresa. Those women were all spectacular and I absolutely love their stories. They, they were stories of, of women who were pioneers who pushed through boundaries to provide for and meet the needs of you know patients and, and people that they came in contact in the world. Um, I almost actually chose you know one of those three women because I, I have you know read about their stories before, even maybe researched them for other classes that I've taken. But I actually very last minute decided to go with someone that I had never met before, and um, that's that's going to be who I hope to introduce you to today. Uh, her name is Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. Mary Walker was born on Bunker Hill in Oswego, New York. Knowing what we know about New York weather, it was most likely cold and snowing. She was one of six children born to her parents. When Mary was born, the religious climate was in transition. Women were, you know, expected to be submissive and they were, you know, to the male dominant authority. They were, you know, to be the obedient homemakers. The transition that was happening, however, came through, you know, church home meetings and evangelism, during which time even the common person was deemed important to God. Women during Mary's time were forced to wear, you know, long heavy dresses and corsets. While the threats of death were behind them and women were beginning to emerge from the home, they were getting out into the community, pioneers began to spring up and they broke through the boundaries that held them in the home and actually autonomy began to form. Mary's father was a farmer and a doctor. He was active in politics as well. Some of his interests included participating in local reform, fighting for equal education rights for women and challenging the dress code for women. Mary, like her father, lived, liked to live life against the grain she made a statement by wearing knee-length dresses with pants, and she often sported a button-down shirt with a bow tie and even a top hat. Mary studied at Folly Seminary, and she taught students before deciding on a career in medicine. She studied at Syracuse Medical College, graduating in 1855. Dr. Mary, Walker, Mary Edwards Walker married a colleague and they opened a, a medical practice in Rome, New York. However, it folded because the public wasn't ready for female physicians. Dr. Walker then received her second medical degree from Hygeo Therapeutic College. It was during this time that the Civil War broke out and uh, Dr. Walker tried to enlist in the military, but she was denied because of gender. She persisted and was eventually allowed to volunteer as an assistant surgeon. Mary would cross the enemy lines to help those in need. She would get right out there in the front lines, you know, helping the soldiers that were wounded and even helping civilians. It was because of this that she was actually captured as a prisoner of war. Uh, she was eventually released and she did continue to serve in, in, in the military as an assistant surgeon until the end of the war. Dr. Walker's greatest achievement, however, came to her because she was a woman who lived the, you know, ethically hard life of believing in helping others and, you know, setting the oppressed free. Her highest honor came when she was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor in 1865. Receiving and maintaining this honor was not without its challenges. In 1917, the Medal of Honor was actually rescinded because Dr. Walker's position was voluntary and she was never officially assigned an assignment in the military. You know, she fought her whole life to try and, and get that, that rescind, rescinded, you know, agreement turned over. In the meantime, she never did return the Congressional Medal of Honor. Uh, her descendants, you know, continued to fight for her even after she had passed away. They, they would take the battle to court and eventually the honor was restored to her. Despite, you know, the fact that, you know, the government had decided to rescind the, the honor to her, Dr. Mary Walker, she wore that medal every single day, refusing to give it back. Overall, Dr. Mary Edwards Walker's achievements were great. 
She studied at Folly Seminary, the Syracuse Medical College, the High Geotherapeutic College. She was president of the National Dress Reform. She gave voice to the views on women's suffrage. She was the first woman to have mil military involvement and to date, she is the only woman to have ever received the Congressional Medal of Honor.